Yes. Hello, my name is Metin Arudaşır. This is 283rd part of explanation of my theory. <coughs> I'm sorry. According to my theory and my formulas, Planck's formula is wrong. Planck's constant is variable angular momentum of photon. Planck's constant is not a constant. Although energy is equal to Planck's constant multiplied by frequency formula was introduced by Planck as a solution to ultraviolet catastrophe, continuous black body radiation graph. It is impossible to reconcile black body radiation graph with this formula. 2. A. Planck's constant is not a constant, and it is nothing but variable angular momentum of a point on an electron motion form, and I have formulated is like that. Here. This is Planck's constant if electron is at rest like this. If it is not relocating, angular momentum doesn't change. Planck's constant doesn't change. Here for at rest, electron motion form, H is equal to angular momentum, electron motion forms red is for initial wavelength multiplied by, this is speed of light component mass multiplied by speed of light is equals to, equal to 6.62, 60, 7, 15, mol, 10 to the minus 34 kilogram meter square per second or tangential velocity component 6.28 times greater than speed of light component angular momentum is the same lambda normal multiplied by Tangential velocity component mass multiplied by here 1,884,000 km per second is equal to the same 6.626715 10 to the minus 34 km square per second. Okay. As I told you before, yes. Now, Planck's constant is not a constant, and it is nothing but variable angular momentum of a point on an electron motion form. And I have formulated is like this. Mainly, this imaginary inseparable point of electron motion form, or its spherical ring shaped wave like electron motion form, is photon. B. Planck's constant was mathematically deduced by Planck from black body spectrum graph, represents an in motion free. I'm so sorry. 
Planck's constant was mathematically deduced by Planck from black body radiation curve for a solution to the ultraviolet catastrophe of the same curve. According to Planck, each wavelength point on this curve was corresponded at different frequency. But, snapshot. This is a thrust electron motion form, same initial wavelength, but here in motion. Okay. Here, there is no continuous spectrum or black body because of it is at rest. But when there is a continuous spectrum or black body radiation, they say black body. Okay, continuous spectrum. We must understand that this electron motion form is in motion. And in each case, whether it is at rest or in motion, an electron motion form, a free electron motion form always produces and propagates successive waves. But in this condition, in motion, relocating condition, each point's wavelength Wave velocity, energy, mass, tangential velocity, angular momentum change without what? Without frequency changing. In each case, frequency doesn't change. Here, continuous spectrum, frequency doesn't change. This is fault of Planck's Planck. Planck didn't understand that continuous spectrum has a single frequency. Okay? Here. But this is not the case. Because each black body radiation continuous spectrum graph represents in an in motion three electron motion form with a special initial wavelength and a single special frequency. In spite of wavelength, wave velocity, angular momentum, tangential velocity, energy, mass, etc. in each direction on every point of this electron motion form and on every point of its successive waves change depend on free electron motion forms, velocity, direction and orientation, frequency doesn't change. Therefore, there is no possibility to be true for Planck's E is equal to H nu. This is wrong. This is wrong. Okay. Here, Planck's constant is angular momentum of photon and it is variable. This is wave number. This is angular momentum, variable angular momentum or variable Planck's constant. Okay, this is, this is, Erdasher's mind, point energy, photon energy of moving free electron form, motion form, in the C direction component of electron motion form formula. Okay, this is my formula. This variability is depending on electron motion forms motion. Its velocity depending on its velocity, electron motion forms its source velocity, motion direction and 
orientation. Planck's constant is variable. Angular momentum of photon. Photon is an inseparable point on electron and its weights. Here. Yes. Now. Snapshot. So important. This is my relation. This part represents at rest electron. This part represents in motion electron. And they are the same frequency. Okay? And here, mine. Point energy, photon energy on an electron motion form and its waves formula. My second formula in this in this subject. Here, here, variable Planck's constant H alpha is equal to h multiplied by c divided by c minus electron motion from velocity cosine alpha multiplied by this okay h alpha is variable angular momentum of photon okay yes now now Here, cancel. Wait a moment. These two, this is square, cancel and cancel. Okay. Here, here. What is this? This is frequency. Okay, same frequency. F1, F1. Here, what is that? This is F1. Don't forget this. Okay. Variable Planck's constant multiplied by F1. F1 doesn't change. Okay. This is wave number, squared wave number. My formula. From this. From this we can write like that. Like what? alpha multiplied by F1 divided by wave squared wave number. Okay. Finally, we can write H C divided by C minus cosine alpha multiplied by squared wave number F1. Finally, we can write like this or like this. Okay. Snapshot. But, but, this is one way. Now, this is so important. Another way. H multiplied by C divided by C minus cosine alpha multiplied by 
c minus square divided by n square lambda normal Minus delta lambda cosine alpha multiplied by c minus alpha. Okay, don't forget this. Here, cancel. Here, cancel. Finally, what can we write? H C divided by N multiplied by lambda normal multiplied delta minus delta under cosine alpha. Yes. Yes. Wait a moment, please. Here we have F1, real frequency, this is frequency, reality, but this is a way, okay, we can write like this, or we can write like this, but when we wrote like this, this doesn't represent It doesn't represent frequency F1, okay? And H seems to us it is hidden variable, in fact, according to my theory of my formulas and its variable seems to us as a constant. Now, this is not constant, this is not real frequency, this is not frequency.